guys, so my name's Nick. I'm in Columbia University College of Dental Medicine studying periodontics. And online dental school, I'm actually in residency. So that's what you do after dental school. It's so I can actually specialize in a specific topic in dentistry. So I'm already a dentist right now. And this is just the next step after you graduate dental school. So the reason why I want to do this is because a lot of you have been requesting this video ever since this video right over here blew up. So if you guys all want it, then I'll provide it. But being in residency, we have to read a lot of articles. So usually I like to wake up really early in the morning to read articles because that's when my brain is the most fresh. So I have my coffee here, it's 5.30 a.m. and let the reading begin. Okay, so it's around 7.30 right now. I'm all ready, let's head outside. Okay, so it takes me around 40 minutes to get to school. So right now, I'm just going down the elevator and I'm gonna be heading to the subway where I usually just read a little bit more because it takes me a long time to get there. So might as well use the time in the subway to read. There's no service on the subway, so that's all I can pretty much do anyways. It is a nice and sunny day today in New York. Usually it's raining and this year it's been raining a lot, but uh, it's not that cold right now. Well, maybe that's because I'm used to it, but before that it was freezing. New York is a different kind of cold. It's like, it's like a windy cold, but right now it's pretty nice. So we'll be heading to the subway and yeah. since I'm usually the only one here. Just reading articles. class right now at nine o'clock. It's 8.30, but I like to come early usually to just prepare myself before everyone else arrives and continue to read more articles because this is a class of classic lit where we read the classic literature of our profession and our specialization. So before anyone shows up, I don't think I can actually film because I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable, but I'll try to get a little time lapse. So our lecture just ended. It's around 12.30 right now. Class extended a little longer than expected, but that's fine because my first patient is actually at 1.30. As you can tell, our class sizes are really small. They only accept like five people per year, five or six, give or take, depending on the year. But being in residency, you would expect there to be a lot of exams, but actually there's pretty much no exams. Maybe you have one or two a year, but the majority of residency is just treating patients. Normally, on Mondays and Tuesdays, I have lectures, but other than that, I'm just treating patients every single day of the week. So normally around this time, I don't eat lunch. So I usually use this time to either work or go to the gym, the school gym that's actually provided for us. But today I'm gonna work instead because tomorrow I have a lecture to give. So I'm planning on preparing for that tonight. So right now in this hour that I have, I'm going to work on my little side hobby in the meantime. So I'll see you later. <laughs> So it's 1.20 right now, and I'm gonna go see my first patient. They just arrived. Agreed. 
So this is 168th Street. The normal Columbia University campus is on 116th Street, but usually all the medical schools are in different locations because it has to be connected with the hospital. But right now, I'm gonna go see my patient. Due to patient privacy, I'm not actually allowed to film their face. It's not like you wanna see the patient's face anyways. Let's start working. finished treating one of my patients and my second patient hasn't showed up yet so I just wanted to talk to you guys about my daily life. So my life consists of just clinics. If I really have to think about it, it's just reading articles, working on patients, and any time I can find, work on videos and my implant company, which I'm gonna elaborate more on in a separate video. But just a little background on what periodontology is, if you didn't know, it's the specialization that I'm doing right now. It is the specialty of the apparatus that holds the tooth, if I put it in simple terms like that. So how the process works is after dental school, when you graduate, you become a doctor and then you apply for specialty programs. And every specialty is roughly two to three years, but some specialties are actually four to six years. So my specialty program is actually three years and I just started in June of 2023. Oh, my patient just arrived. So I'll talk to you guys after. Coming from Spain and speaking Spanish, the patient population here at Columbia University are all Latinos. So it's really useful that I speak Spanish. I find a lot of my co-residents are using translators through the phone to talk to their patients, but I'm lucky that I spoke Spanish and I came from Spain. And that's where I graduated dental school, by the way. And for me, it's just easier to communicate with the patient and discuss the treatment plan that we end up creating for them. posing like that. It's I'm a video. Be, it's a video. Oh my god. <laughs> but welcome to my office. It's pretty nice, right? It's not that nice. You know, I wish there were some windows in here. Some chairs actually have windows, but sometimes I don't even know if the sun went down. I don't even know if it was raining outside or if it was snowing, but I guess that's life. It's five o'clock right now. It was a pretty slow day at clinics today but I'm gonna head home and continue to work because I have a lecture to work on. I have some tasks that have to be done. So I got a lot to get done today. Plus, I have to go to the gym, so. Okay, so I just arrived home. That guy on the train actually played one of my favorite songs. And that's the beauty of New York. I never know what's gonna happen next, but it's impossible to be bored. You can love it or you can hate it. But right now is usually the time I have my first meal. So I'm gonna prepare that, but it's nothing really that special. So this is my first meal of the day. I usually eat two meals a day, one big one after the gym and a small one right before. And I actually try to drink at least a gallon of water a day. But what I have here is just some granola and yogurt. So I just finished my first meal of the day. Around this time, I always give myself as much time as I can to work on my implant company. The implant company is actually called Osteofuse, where we manufacture dental implants, dental implant surgical kits, as well as anything related to dental implants. We actually managed to turn a 40 minute to one hour surgery into a one minute surgery. And our idea behind the whole entire implant company is to have everything we sell serving dual functionality, like everything I own in my room. I just like the idea that one thing could serve multiple purposes. If you're curious about Osteofuse, the link is in the description below of our website. So this is just some video footage of Osteofuse at dental conventions in the previous years. I actually have one coming up next weekend. And a few months ago, I gave a lecture at a dental convention, actually one of the biggest dental conventions in the world called Greater New York, where I held a hands-on course teaching doctors how to use our system and what differs our system from other implant systems. So have a look. So 
So while I work, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Okay, so I finished everything that I had to do for the company today. And after working on patients and doing surgeries all day, I need some sort of way to wind down. So I'm gonna go to the gym right now. And I personally like going to the gym late at night. So I don't always turn off the lights when I go to the gym, only sometimes when I'm alone because the New York City lights light up everything. And for the sake of this video, it just looks cooler. But right now, after the gym, I usually just cook my meal and I wanted to show my cutting board. You know how I said everything I own serves dual purpose? Well, check out this cutting board. Instead of actually having to wash the cutting board, I just take out this and I chop here. And after this is dirty, then I just take this out, put it in the dishwasher and then take out another one. And there's a lot in here, by the way. And that's it. This is pretty much the idea of it. So it serves dual purpose because I don't actually have to clean the cutting board. I just have to clean these little tiny plastic pieces. So right now I'm just gonna go chop my vegetables and just shove everything in the air fryer because that's how I cook everything. And it's just so convenient. Everything tastes super good. And I don't have to keep watching the pan to see if I have to flip my chicken or when to flip it or if it's burnt or not. Everything's on a timer and I just hear the beep and then get my food. I don't know, easy. This might not look appetizing to you, but it's super freaking good. <sighs> okay, so now that I finished my second meal of the day, it's time to shower. But I'm not gonna lie, I've been super productive today. So after I shower, I have to start working on that lecture that I have to present tomorrow. And this part, you can't see. climb out just a few times a day to forage. These geothermal waters are the monkey's secret to surviving five long winter months. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed that little educational video. But now that I'm done with the shower, it's time to work on that lecture that I've been talking about all day. Okay, so I managed to finish the lecture earlier than expected. I usually sleep around 12 a.m., so I'm gonna use this spare time to edit some of my films. So it's 12 a.m. and I'm exhausted. It's time for me to go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this little video as much as I enjoyed making this video. And I guess you guys all saw a little sneak peek of what it was like in a day in the life of Nick Chen.